Alright boys. Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. What the fuck? What the What in the hell is that thing? Um, what? Get rid of that stupid shield. Come on, get rid of that stupid shield. Get the little bitch. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, fuck yeah. Are oh, you you're joking? Hell guards. Are you kidding me? Oh, great. Now there's two of them. You're fucking kidding me. Fuck off.
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Got him! Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Rip that fucking thing out. Get out of there. What's wrong with you? Okay. Holy shit, okay. The fuck is that thing? Is this a crucible? What the? Um, hi? Wait, they look like Knights Templar. What the fuck? What just happened? Okay, we finished it, but what the fuck just happened? Kill a Mancubus with a pistol. Kill two Keiko, Keiko demons with one shot. Kill two demons with explosive barrels. What the fuck? Okay, what just happened? Oh, wait, okay, so I got transported? Okay, so that was Crucible. Returning to Mars. You must close the well, the power source of the hell portal on Mars. To do this, you'll have to make one last hell jump. Samuel has a plan to send you back to the well's location. He'll need your assistance to carry it out. What the fuck? I am Vega. And with it, the means to contain the power of the well. We have a plan to send you there. Vega will walk you through the process. Holy shit. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so Vega 3. Uh, Vega is powered by a mix of unrefined argent, argent plasma, taken directly from the argent fracture, and UAC technology. While it does regarding the development of Vega, it is rumored that Vega's core is powered by a piece of arcane technology found near the argent fracture. The <laughs> recalculating power of Vega is unprecedented in AI theory. The system is, to some extent, self-taught. After the initial core software was uploaded, Vega began gathering data from all the UAC subsystems without oversight and effectively took control of the Mars facility operations. Vega also proposed a more effective method of processing argent plasma into argent energy. Devise better analysis theorems and even design new argent com com compression schema, although allowing for the development of argent caches and later the argent accumulator. That's not dangerous at all. Knowing this, I why should I trust Vega? Titan's realm. A pilgrimage. If you're one of the lucky disciples who will get to experience a pilgrimage to hell, there are some preparations you must make for your journey. You must make sure all of your affairs are in order before leaving, doing all your belongings, excluding and security control materials to a tier two advocate and record any final logs you may wish to make. Your savings and assets will be used to fund additional UAC research. That's fucked. For the expedition itself, you may wish to consider sedation. What? Advocates can get overwhelmed during their transition and a medically administered balancing agent can help ease the excitement. Lastly, prepare your mind for the wonders you will experience. Seeing the remains of a titan is an experience that will buckle the knees of the most steadfast advocate. If you're lucky, you, you may even get to see a live titan. If you do, you must record the setting immediately and add your storage devices to a scout bot for safety. It is not known if any titans still have the great step. If you get the chance to be a sacrifice to one of these massive beasts, take it. Okay, hell guards. What the fuck? Borderlands between Titan's realm and the Great Steppe is home to one of the most ferocious demons yet found, the Biomech, Hellguard. Uh, well, but no direct human contact with the beast. this beast, it was discovered by the scout bots during the second Project Lazarus tether tethering operation. Finding this demon signaled the end of the expedition, but the scout bots did manage to send data to the relay beacons uh, before they were destroyed. <clears throat> Detailed study of the few video frames that were captured before the equipment was destroyed revealed that the Hellguard is actually a parasite housed within a bone and keratin exoskeleton. A parasite imbued with enormous quantities of hell energy provides power to the Hellguard and controls its actions entirely. Before entering the exoskeleton, the Hellguard exoskeleton is a lifeless husk. Attempts to retrieve the parasite alone have proved fruitless 
as an uncoupled demon is too weak to survive passage with between dimensions. Once coupled, however, the demon presents a daunting and relentless enemy. Well, great. Oh, hey. Okay. Alright, boys, let's go. This is my primary operating facility. It is where I was created and where my core processing unit is maintained. It takes approximately 2.4 terawatts of power to sustain my operational capabilities, but it has been decided that we can use that power to send you to the source of the portal. I will not survive the procedure and am unable to self-terminate, so I will walk you through the process. All interior and exterior facility doors have been secured. You will need to begin by finding a way in and disabling the security systems. I really don't trust Vega. I'm sorry, but I don't. Like, why should I? What is that? Is that any weapon? Oh no, that's the. Never mind. I'll go ahead and take that boy. Thanks, sir. Thank you for your donation to the cause. Oh. Okay. Jeez. This place looks like it got hit pretty hard. Oh, come on. Okay. Let's go, boys. in this maintenance facility. Each termination point is protected by an electrified field, but you should survive the surge. That's not reassuring at all. Jesus. Okay. Holy crap. All right. Do this. Security network offline. Got him. Okay. You fat fuck. Oof. Hey, whoa, hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Fuck off. Got it. Got you. over here.
Auxiliary neural security network offline. Nice. My vital operating systems are now vulnerable. I recommend destroying my coolant system first. This will accelerate the destabilization process. even further down. Okay. It's even further down? How do I go further down? Oh shit. Should you find yourself caught in that drift demon contamination? Aha. Oh Jesus Christ. Jesus, man. Go, oh, come on. Should you find yourself on the level three demon contamination? Got it. It is important that you remain calm. A team of you are really bad, and neither should you. Got him. Okay. Everything else in your life, your work here matters. I like everything else here in life, your work here matters. Jesus. Kind of fucked up. Revenant. During recent development of the Revenant program, curious side effect of Lazarus wave exposure was discovered. Actually, held within the plas plasmatic isotopes of the Lazarus wave mutates uh, with sense in proteins, resulting in rapid skeletal growth. Expansion of the bone matter results in avulsion to of the skin and connective tissue. The flesh is literally torn from the bones. As the skeleton continues to grow, the exposure internal Exposed internal organs begin to decompose. Several weeks of intense pain for the patient, the skeletal growth stops, resulting in a three meter beast comprised primarily of bone. Uh, the height varies depending on the patient's original physiology. Despite the bizarre biolog biological structure, the revenant appears to bear no ill effects. That is insane. Alright, well, I'm going to go and end it right here, um, boys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Peace. Bye.